What's going on guys? Welcome back to Learn Crypto and this is an oatmeal update. My name is Nick Hellman aka the Crypto Hitman. Well what am I getting on here to say? Well we've seen some green out of Bitcoin today, a nice green bar and we expect alts to slightly follow. Also the stock futures right now, stock futures are positive 32 points, slightly green for the stocks. Can't complain about that. We have bought back 50% of our Bitcoin position after selling at $29,100 and having some patience. We also gave a sell on this Grayscale News Pump and we bought back 50%. Why? Well, we got oversold on the RSI. We had a bear flag, bear flag measure move breakdown and we had Wyckoff Technometer get to oversold. So we had to start getting back into our positions especially after selling so much higher so far we're seeing a big green bar here we like to see some continuation so we can put a profit stop in place and maybe add to this position we've done the same for coinbase coinbase we sold at 106 we bought back at 75 we sold at 85 on the grayscale news pump and now we just bought back our position yesterday at 71 dollars and right now we are seeing in the pre-market 72.55 Remember, Coinbase is still in a lawsuit with SEC. If the court rules in Coinbase's favor, this will see a green bar to somewhere between $85 to $90 straight up, just like we saw out of the Grayscale News. So we want to be in that one. Ethereum. We sold Ethereum up here at $1,845, $41. We bought back 50% of our position. Again, based off the Bitcoin chart, oversold on the RSI, oversold on the Wyckoff wave technometer and we bought it back at 1583 now we see this green bar following Bitcoin but we do have a rejection on the four hour 200 moving average so that is not a great sign yet but if this thing can hold this 1605 level and then continue higher and break above this yellow line that would be bullish and we would then put a profit stop in place probably at wherever the low is if the low happens to be 1605 or wherever this ends up before the next move higher. There's some other ones I wanted to give you an update on. MicroStrategy. MicroStrategy we bought at 311. We sold at 390 almost for 25.5% gains. We had patience on this entire drawdown. We didn't chase the grayscale pump. Look at this white line I drew all the way back here on August 9th. Look what my price target was. My price target was 309. We bought back our position yesterday at 3. 318, I believe, and right now we have a pre-market of 324. MicroStrategy bought another $150 million of Bitcoin, now owns almost $5 billion in Bitcoin, about 1% of the total supply of Bitcoin MicroStrategy holds, plus they are a software company. So I think of this as like a 3x leverage Bitcoin position. We are back in Bitcoin. We want to be in MicroStrategy. I think they have upside. Maybe, maybe this rolls over again, but again, you're looking at this bullish divergence here where price is lower, price is lower. RSI supporting higher. That is a bullish divergence. We had the buy on Bitcoin, so we wanted to get back in our microstrategy position for 18.5% cheaper than our previous sell. Let's look at Riot. Similar thing. We bought Riot at $10. We sold it at $15.47 for 53% gains. People thought we missed it. We sold a little early, but 53% in stocks will take it. Had patience on the sell-off. And again, we got a bullish divergence setting up here on the RSI. We bought back our position yesterday at $9.18. And right now, pre-market is $9.36. We bought this on a 40% discount to our previous sell. That is how you increase your positions or garnish profits to get in other opportunities and expand your portfolio. Solana, we've had some patience. We sold Solana at $22 roughly. We are putting an overhead buy on Solana. We haven't bought it back yet. We have an overhead protective buy. That would buy back somewhere around 9 to 10% cheaper than our last sell. And we are, of course, watching Doge as well. Why are we watching Doge? Had some weakness yesterday. We're watching Doge, as you can see this red line here, because it, Elon said that by the end of the year, X will be an all-in-one financial application. I believe he will integrate Bitcoin and Doge quickly. If that happens, Doge will run from these levels anywhere from 5.5 to 6.5 cents, straight up to 13 cents, and we want to be on that boat. Now, taking a leverage position now when we're only 50% long Bitcoin is highly risky unless you give yourself a lot of leeway. So we are not taking a position yet. We're looking for an overhead buy or another dip to get involved with Doge. Again, no position just yet, but we think there's a lot of upside possibility. He said that would happen before the end of this year. So you might have an up to three-month holding period for Doge before you see that explosive rally based on the X and Twitter news.
And then lastly, we've had patience. If you've been following since this pump to $30, we said we wanted to be in pen. We bought pen yesterday at $22.65. Pre-market it is $22.34. So a little down. But again, this thing has fallen from grace. Highs of $145 all the way down to our first entry down here at $22.65. Partnership with ESPN. I expect ESPN bets to be launched soon. The gambling sector is growing year over year, whether it's online, whether it's in person, whatever it may be. And Penn is getting new licenses in various states in the United States. I think there will be major beneficiaries. And again, once they break out of this pattern, I see a, a nice run, a recheck of that previous resistance, and then we see a massive run back to the previous highs of the start of this position, which is somewhere between $35 to $40. So a great stock if you're interested in the gambling aspect and the gambling sector. And then lastly, NVIDIA. Nailed the top on that. You can see this yellow line. The day of the high, institutions are trapped at 515 I said this is an Adam and Eve with a measured move to uh, $406. What do you know? The low is 408 so far. I still think there's downside risk to 320 to 365 get anywhere in the zone that's your downside risk shorting here is a little risky because you are sitting on all the support and you did have the measured move of the adam and eve formation uh, but again think downside risk into this zone i would be a buyer in this zone for now no action to take besides hey i hope you sold it up here i hope you didn't go long like kramer and all these guys wanted to do at 515 dollars because now we're back to 419 just like i said we would return to 407 that's the oatmeal update guys all in all things looking decent we got a lot of entries over at patreon.com slash learn crypto if you if you like what i'm saying and you want these entries if you're not trading this going on Bitcoin and Ethereum and BNB and Solana and various stocks, then you need to join us at patreon.com slash on crypto. It's a buck a day, guys. A buck a day. You get myself, you get Todd Butterfield, you get the great community, and you get Q&A, live trade updates, and everything that you can think of. You can see here is the Todd Nick questions. People are asking us questions. Official trades, time stamped, how to set up the order. Bitcoin, everything, charts. This is what we do over at patreon.com slash learn crypto. Stop missing out on opportunities. We even do meme coins. So over here on Pulse Chain, Teddy Bear, we are currently up 45% on our Teddy Bear position. We made 105% on our PRS position. So and much more of this to come uh, over here at patreon.com slash learn crypto. So that's all for now, guys. We will talk to you soon. Let's see what Bitcoin has in store here. It's definitely not dead. Even with the SEC delaying three Bitcoin spot ETFs already, we have another five that are up October 15th. I think those all get delayed. We get the Bitcoin spot ETF in January or March of 2024, which starts the biggest bull run in Bitcoin history. Peace.